We'll begin by clicking on the link to the County of Santa Clara website test. This takes us to a green screen with a white box, and these are instructions for the test. Please read this carefully. You'll begin by clicking the blue bar at the bottom. Install the official app. This takes us to, in this case, the Chrome Web Store, where we can add the Loop 11 user testing extension to Chrome. We click on Add to Chrome, confirm that we want to add Loop 11 user testing to our browser. Then we confirm. We have a confirmation box that tells us that the extension has been added to Chrome. You can close that window and close the Web Store link. And this takes you back to the green screen with the white box. So you now have the extension added to your environment. That extension will track you throughout the test. So read the instructions carefully and click on Next. This next screen tells you not to close the window during the test. And when you click on Begin, you come to this home page and a green box comes up on the screen, which is the first question for the test. Now, during the test, you'll be reading the tasks. There are 10 of them. And when you're ready, when you understand what you're looking for, you'll start task and this green box will go away. Now, if at any time you need to terminate the test without finishing, click Exit Study and that will turn off the recording software. If you exit early, that you will not have recorded any results for the test, so you can come back in through the email to run the test at a later time. This 10 to 15 minute test should all be run in one session. So we'll click on Start Task. Now in this case, I'm not going to be doing what the task says. That is, I'm not going to go after a copy of the birth certificate because I don't want to in any way have this demonstration bias what you do in the test. So when we click on Start Task, the green box is replaced by a green circle with the word Show, and this will continue to follow you until the end of the test. So now you'll simply go into the website and perform the task. I'm just doing something random now to show you that we're, of course, moving through the site and the green ball is following me. Now, when you get to the page where you found the information that you're looking for, you then click Show, which brings up the green box, and you indicate that you want to complete the task. At that point, the next question comes up. Now, what happens if you can't find what you're looking for? Well, once again, I'm going to start the next task, which is task two. I'm not going to be doing the task. I'm just going to be going somewhere else random in the site. So I'm going on down to a random link. And if I decide that I can't find the information, I simply bring up the show button again and click on abandon task, which takes me to the next question. When you finished executing all of the tasks and answering all the questions, the very last screen that you'll see is a thank you screen. At this point, you want to click Exit Study, and you'll notice that now the green ball is no longer following us around the website. So this means that exiting the test has turned off the Loop 11 software. Now, in the case of, once again, this Chrome environment, if I want to remove the extension, I simply click here and go out to More Tools and to Extensions. This list comes up which shows me the extensions that I have in my browser. So I find the Loop 11 User Testing extension and I click Remove. It will verify that I want to remove it and now the extension is gone and that extra software is no longer in my system. These are the details for the Chrome environment on a desktop or laptop system. 
we've provided a PDF with removal instructions for other browsers and other environments. So thank you very much for your interest in our project. We appreciate your help. Bye-bye.